All right, boys, so we just finished watching the NYC FGO live stream, and we got a couple really good nuggets, some confirmations for some dates. Uh, we actually got some things very, very early that I'm excited to talk about. But before anybody actually mentions it, yes, not only do I sound different because I'm literally super sick right now, but I'm also on vacation, so I'm using a different mic. So before anyone tries to like point it out in the comments down below, yeah, we, I'm getting hit with the double whammy right now, different mic and sick like actually just sounding completely different right now but you know what that's not gonna stop me from releasing daily fgo content for you guys so you know what leave a like subscribe for that daily fgo content where even if we are just getting beaten up by i have no idea what i have right now but i'm getting beat up by something even if we got that we still upload daily and we still stream every weekday at 6 p.m est or i guess 5 p.m est right now or cst whatever it is i don't know i'll still go live but yeah with all that like out of the way Let's talk about some of the stuff that we got. So we got all of like the basic high-end Kyo like announcement information. We actually do have now a confirmed date of when it's going to be coming out. It's going to be coming out on the 21st. So if you've been a guy being like, man, I can't wait to get Kentucky's outfit. I can't wait for Doman to come out. I can't wait for Suna. If you're one of those guys that's really looking forward to Suna, uh, they're going to be coming out on the 21st or Monday. I think it's really strange though that yeah i get that the na version of the game has kind of selected monday to be their update uh they're the day that they drop all their updates right the same reason for like uh the jp version does their updates on like wednesday for us but it's still weird that they're like all right we did the pre-release campaign that finishes no event then we wait a couple more days do the nyc thing announce it and then we don't even like announce that it's going to go live right after the stream it's going to go live in two days to kind of like fit with our like update schedule i don't know if that's weird for anybody else it just seems very strange to me that we're just kind of like forcefully like pushing it along but whatever we're going to be getting high-end kill on monday if you have not finished olympus make sure you go ahead and get that done so you can participate in this event i've heard really really good things about the story i've beaten it on jp but obviously i can't like read the story and everything so i'm really excited to read it myself uh, make sure you finish olympus if you're struggling with like uh say the zeus fight the wotamine fight demeter or something like that and you just feel like you can't beat it uh we do have a discord in the description down below where people can help you build strategies and we can like help you out with uh building a team based on what you have in your box to actually take people down so if you're struggling with that discord is down in the description down below also i do you know stream every weekday so if you also want to just ask me directly while i'm streaming you can also do that as well but so yeah high-end kill is coming out that's kind of confirmed we knew this was going to come out nothing like super unique or insane is coming out here i guess we're getting 16 saint courts because of the actual live stream but actually more insane than all of that is we are getting the pity system ridiculously early and i mean ridiculously ridiculously early this is so early on the na version of the game a lot of people in chat were kind of like memeing about it they're like oh announce the pity system and then they did if you don't know why this is a really big deal basically now if you go like 900 saint quartz into a banner you're gonna be able to guarantee get that new servant and it's not just buying the saint quartz it's not just like paid saint quartz you can do this just by saving up right which is really funny to me because i made this video on the morgan banners a couple of weeks ago where i was talking about like oh here's like the banners that you go for if you want to get like the maximum value and like all of that just goes out the window now because now the first morgan banner that comes out is going to have the pity system but like not even that like muramasa is going to have pity now so if you're someone that's been saving up for a long time you can guarantee get muramasa people like space ishtar when she comes back is gonna have pity doman is gonna have pity ibuki is gonna have pity vitra is gonna have pity it's absolutely insane like if you were saving up for any of these servants you're gonna be able to guarantee get them and the insane thing is that even though we didn't get any information on the thanksgiving banner which i'm not sure why they didn't tease it i kind of get it they just announced doman they probably don't want to be like here's doman but then in a couple of days after that we're also gonna have like this super special right up thanksgiving banner so again kind of understand why they they didn't announce it because maybe it devalues Doman, but 
It means whatever crazy servants they throw on there, whether it be someone like Scotty or Merlin or even someone like Gilgamesh or Skahawk who seem to be on like every limited rotation banner, right? It doesn't matter who it is, they're going to have the pity system and it means that if you've saved up enough Saint Quartz or you just happen to be a whale and you can just buy 900 Saint Quartz, uh, you can actually just guarantee get whatever servant is currently on raid up, which I think is absolutely insane. Again. It's not going to matter that much to a whole lot of people, but it is nice to know that in the back of your head, if you do save up, you know, like for a year for like an SSR or something, you can guarantee and get that servant, right? I know a lot of people have quit the game because they saved for like a year for one specific five star and didn't get them. But now that's not going to happen as long as you save up at least like 900 Saint Quartz, which I think is very, very good for the game. Because I just, I don't know, never liked the idea of of people saving up just for years for one specific servant they liked and then just getting crushed by the banner and then kind of feeling like it wasn't worth playing the game anymore so that's also a huge nice step in the right direction but other than that yeah that's kind of all we got in regards to fgo i mean we got like nice little announcements for like uh what is it called like witch of the black knight i believe the new series with alco coming out so that's kind of hype if you're going to be playing that on switch but then again they're kind of competing right now with pokemon so yeah you gotta take, pick your poison on that one are you going to be playing uh which of the holy knight are you going to be playing pokemon but we also did get some information for strange fake if anybody like cares about this um i personally think we might actually see um richard be the new year servant i know it's not a very like popular take but i think like they're dropping the anime at like december and then on the jp version we, they might like try to sneak richard in there again no it's not a huge popular take a lot of people are wanting like rasputin or something but i think the fact that they've like announced that they're going to be doing this anime and um it's not going to be an ova like everybody thought it's actually going to be like a series I think this could actually uh, tie into FGO and it does potentially mean that if you're somebody that's been wanting say like Alcides or the like composite Hassan character from Strange Fake, Richard, uh, Hippolyta, if you've been wanting any of these characters, they might be coming to FGO sooner than you think, right? they might actually potentially be hitting the JP version in 2023. So that's also kind of hype. They didn't like say any of this, right? But the fact that the anime is coming out and they're like kind of officially being released, we might actually get to see them. Uh, the only thing is that I am aware that Narita did not want FGO to use any of his characters. Uh, like he didn't want them using Enkidu. Uh, he didn't want them using uh, Thomas Edison, who he had, I think had to change to Humbaba for Fate Strange Fake, funny enough, uh, because they like kind of took Thomas Edison and used them in america so i don't know if they've changed that yet to where they're like allowed to actually use the strange fake servants but i would posit that they're probably going to be coming sooner than we think and that's kind of hype for me because as someone who is like red strange fake or at least what we have the series is just absolutely goaded it is insane it's sick and nasty with the sauce so that's also kind of like a subtle other thing that they uh, you could kind of get hyped for it's like strange fate comes out fate loves to collaborate with itself so we could potentially see some strange fate characters hitting the jp version of the game on 2023 like don't be surprised you know when jp does the whole like silhouette thing at the beginning of the year and they're like here are the new servants we're putting out this year don't be surprised if you see some guy that looks like alcides or like richard or someone along those lines but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments down below let me know if you think we're going to be seeing some strange fake characters in 2023 or maybe do you think it's going to be more like 2024 let me know all that in the comments down below but i will catch you guys in the next video peace late guys